Have you guys heard about this Taylor Swift Argyle conspiracy theory? Because I've just done some research and I feel like there might be a there there. Let's get into it. The movie comes out February 2nd, and as you can see, it is a star-studded affair. We've got everybody from Henry Cavill to Dula Peep to Bryce Dallas Howard, not Jessica Chastain. We've got Ariana DeBose, Catherine O'Hara, like we've got them all. It is based off of this book by the same name by this woman, Ellie Conway. Remember that. And as her manuscript is getting shopped around, years before the book is ever supposed to come out for her debut novel, a multi-studio and multi-streamer bidding war breaks out. The Apple finally wins with Matthew Vaughn attached as director for $200 million for a one-picture deal in the hopes of turning it into an entire franchise. And just for some context here, like bidding wars happen all the time and studios pay hundreds of millions for rights to stuff sometimes. But a bidding war for a debut novel that has that is years away from coming out with absolutely no built in audience or critical reception with a huge star studded cast and an A-list director going for $200 million, she's unprecedented, like by a lot. Like that is, that's, that's insane. Now here's where it gets weird. Ellie Conway, the author of the book, this is everything we know about her, is on this page right here, is on Penguin Random House's page, and it is more information than we've had in the past. It now says she was born and raised in upstate New York and she was writing, she just wrote her first novel about Agent Argyle while working as a waitress in a late night diner. Up until very recently, all we knew was that she lived and worked somewhere in the United States. That was the entirety. And so while all we know about this woman is this, there is an unprecedented bidding war going on for her very first novel. Not only that, there is not a single human who has come out and said, hey, I'm Ellie Conway, or oh, I know Ellie Conway, I went to high school with Ellie, or what the fuck ever. Like, there is nothing, no one. This woman is a ghost. So there's only one logical conclusion, right? It's that it's Taylor Swift. But don't think I'm just out here spreading rumors. I come with receipts. Exhibit A, this is the film's very first teaser poster. It's a cat in a backpack. Looks like it's a very specific cat in a specific backpack. Remember that. Exhibit B, Taylor Swift's cat, Meredith Grey. The exceedingly rare Scottish Fold cat. And what does Miss Taylor Swift like to carry her cats around in? The same kind of backpack. But wait, there's more. Exhibit D, Matthew Vaughn's own daughter is convinced that Taylor Swift wrote this book. His own daughter convinced she wrote this. Exhibit E off of Taylor Swift's own website, Red Taylor's version Argyle sweater. And this is a two part exhibit because not only is this bad boy on Taylor's website as having been sold for Red Taylor's version, but Red Taylor's version came out less than four months after the announcement was made that Apple bought the rights to Argyle. Mere months after the bidding war happened, mere months, when the director and all of these celebrities were already attached to that bad boy. Coincidence? I think not. Tell me in the comments if I'm being a crazy person.